Hello, today I am here with a, well, it's two hauls, but one's pretty small and I didn't want to make like a little, probably like four minute video. So I decided to just put them together and call it a wax mail video. So I've got Sassy Curl Aroma and Destination Wax. Uh, I'll start with Destination Wax. I have that here just to hide my address. Um, the first one is a sample of mango sticky rice. This is Thai sticky rice with fresh mango slices. I do have a, oh, sorry. <clears throat> I do have a breakaway bar in this that I need to melt. And it smells good. This scent is unique. It's like you get the mango, but then you also get that sticky rice and it's kind of, it's kind of like a sweet, earthy scent is the best way I can describe it. Like kind of earthy. Um, it's definitely unique. <clears throat> Next we have pine cones. This is fresh balsam, spruce, cedar, and pine cone wreath. It says this has a sweet, fresh scent. And it does, when I first saw that it just said pine cones, I was a little nervous. Um, but it's actually really good. It smells, I mean, it smells like, you know, like balsam and pine and all that. But there's a sweetness in there that makes it really nice. And I'm really excited to try this one. Because I've never really been, been big on pine scents. <clears throat> but I've been trying to branch out and try some recently. Um, next is Lemon Fresh. It says a very complex and fresh lemon fusion scent. Lemon sugar by fresh type. This one's really nice too. I almost get like a, like a tea note to this. Which I know that it doesn't say there's tea. But it's definitely lemon. It's like a lemony tea to me. With a little bit of sweetness. Um, yeah, I really get tea in there, and it is good, though. I don't know why that's not focusing. I hit it, and then I messed it up. Okay, so, I should start, oh, I should have taken this out. thing first. I'll start with my repurchase, which is a loaf that I ordered in Quickie Wedding. This is fresh strawberries strawberry seeds and marshmallow fluff and it's it's a very sweet strawberry scent it's like a creamy sweet strawberry very very sweet and um i really like this one obviously that's why i ordered a loaf <clears throat> and then the rest are all new to me this is Cape Cod Coast. It's salty air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves, fresh cedar wood, and marine algae. Um, it says profumum, profumum aquidisol type. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but it's really nice. Um, I mean, it just, it smells just like, probably how you would think it smells from the description. It's Slightly masculine, aquatic, and salty. And yeah, it's it's really nice. I really like it. Then we have Pink Sari. This is pink sugar blender combined with patchouli essential oil. And um one is really nice I really like patchouli and pink sugar together it's like a sweet earthy scent oh, and it's so nice um, I really like it next we have fresh lettuce which is crisp watery fresh green scent and this one was um so this one is it's definitely um, a, a vine type of green because I get that little vine note in there. 
but I also get lettuce. Like it really smells like lettuce. Yeah, it's like watery lettuce. Exactly how it's described. And it's interesting. I don't know yet how I feel about it, um, but it's definitely interesting and unique. So we'll see once I melt it. Next is um, London Rain. This is a warm, rainy day in a London park. Rain, citrus, florals, and wood. Joe Malone, Rain, and Angelica. And this one is nice. It's definitely perfumey. Um, I don't know. It's not what I was expecting. I think I was expecting more of an aquatic, masculine um, scent. But it does smell... I do get the floral. It smells like an aquatic, floral, perfumey type of scent. And it is nice, but it's definitely a little bit light. Um, it was poured in August, too, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Next is London Mist. This is a floral and lightly earthy scent overlaid with moss and swirling mist. And this one I love. I absolutely love this. It is definitely floral, but not. It's a sweet, light floral with like the slightest bit of musk. It's just one of those, I don't know, it's just really, really good. It's fresh and it's sweet. And it's it's floral. It's just really amazing. Um, and it's not a, it's not a harsh uh, potpourri floral at all. Um, I cannot wait to melt this one. This one is really good. I didn't even realize I... <laughs> ordered so many um so this is candy cane extra it's fresh peppermint and spearmint sweet strawberries and vanilla extra minty and i think i got this one in a sample and i liked it it's definitely um it's a unique mint scent like you do get a lot of that mint but then it's like there's just something different about it in the background and i think it's the strawberry that it's mixed with Cause it's not fruity, but it just adds like a little bit of a sweetness and like, I don't know, just something unique to it. So I'm really excited to melt this one too. It smells nice and strong. So we'll see. It's a really pretty color pink too. Next we have Hit the Road Jack. This is sweet patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, black pepper, and citrus compared to Lord of Misrule. And I actually have gotten this for my husband. Um, but I don't even, it does smell nice. It smells like patchouli, like a sweet, sweet patchouli and it just smells sweet and earthy. Yeah, like a sweet earthy scent. It's nice, it is a little light. This one was poured in September, so. Um, We'll see. Give it some more time to cure. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to give that to my husband or not because I do like how it smells. And I, he has all his K's. And I guess um, the secretary there, she started um, bringing in some of her own. And even some of the workers have been bringing in some too. So I don't know if he's going to need any um, replenishing anytime soon. Uh, so this is Bonfire Bliss. This is Brown Sugar coconut marshmallows toasting over a bonfire of leaves, pine, cedar, amber, and sandalwood. And this one's nice. Um, it's, it's sweet. It's really, really nice. It's also really kind of light still. It was poured about a month and a half ago. But it's, it's like you get the, it's kind of like woodsy, but very light on the wood, the wood and pine. And then like a sweetness. Um, it's, it's nice. I don't know how to describe it very well, other than like an earthy, 
piney, woodsy type scent um, with a sweetness to it. I've never had like those kinds of scents before. Um, just because usually I get scared away by seeing like pine and cedar and stuff. But it's nice. It's, it's really nice and I can't wait to melt that one. Next we have Ginger Cream Cafe. It's a light roast coffee flavored with sweet cream and gingerbread spices. This is my last one. And this one is so nice. It smells like gingerbread and coffee. <laughs> And it's like a sweet gingerbread. Um, and it's just really pretty. And I really like gingerbread scents. Okay, so now we will get into the Sassy Girl Aroma. And I have a sample of Iceberg Waters. And this just smells, it smells like a fresh aquatic. It smells fresh and aquatic. Kind of clean. It actually smells really nice. I like that one. Although I will say I have never seen, like when she pours samples, I feel like I don't ever see them again other than in samples. So I'm not really sure if maybe I, I could request it, um, but it does smell really good. So I will start with the souffle cups and this is Santa's eggnog cookies, which is sweet butter, creamy eggnog and sugar cookies. And I'll take it out because I really do like the aesthetic of her wax. I just think um, it's cute, the little colorful cubes, and and this one is so good. It's a really rich, creamy, buttery eggnog, and you do get the sugar cookie too. Oh, it's it's so 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 good. Cannot wait to chop this one up. And then we have bourbon cookies. This is a bourbon sauce, cream and sugar cookies. And then this one is also cute. Just a little um, neutral colored. And this one's good. I definitely don't like it as much as the eggnog one, but it is good. It's it's like a, it's just, you get the bourbon the most with a little bit of sweetness in the background. I just feel like it is a little bit light and um, the milk and cookies feels like it kind of just, like in this one, the milk and cookies, I mean the, the sugar cookies, you smell it and you smell that sweetness, but it doesn't, it goes well with, sorry, I have a wax on my it, it goes well with it, but in this one, it feels kind of like the sugar cookie kind of water, or how do you say it? Like waters down the bourbon. I don't know. We'll see. It, it does smell good. It smells really good. I just wanted the bourbon to come out a little more, I think, and I just feel like the sugar cookie is kind of just making it kind of a creamy, a creamy bourbon, I guess, um, but we'll see on, on warm. And then the next one is just three of the same uh, brittle, and it's peanuts and pumpkin brittle. It's uh, sweet, sugary caramel brittle saturated with salty peanuts and toasted pumpkin seeds. And I am just very late to this. This is basically a dupe of pumpkin peanut brittle from Bath and Body Works. And I'm just, you know, since I hadn't really been in the wax world for a while, I didn't even know the candle existed. And I got a sample in of this from another vendor. And um, who was it? I don't even remember who it was. I just know that I melted it and it smelled amazing. It was so good. Even my husband was like, that's like one of the best scents I've ever smelled. So then all of a sudden I was like um, trying to figure out what it was and somehow I, I realized that it was a dupe for because on the on the thing it didn't say like Bath and Body Works it kind of just you know like this one doesn't say um, so anyways ever since then now any vendor I'm I'm obsessed and any vendor that has it um, I will purchase it because <laughs> I just want to see whose is best are they all the same or 
and I usually get good throw from her so because I also have it from uh, the bathing garden and I've got one from the bathing garden and I've got one coming from Teddy B's which is funny because when I ordered it from Teddy B's I had no idea that that's what it was um, I just thought it sounded good and I actually was gonna get a loaf but I went down to a chunk bag and I'm wishing I had gotten a loaf now because I'm sure hers will be amazing um, but yeah so that is my my wax mail this will probably be the last haul you will see for a couple of weeks um, I do have a huge Teddy B's order coming in um, but I think that ships like the first or second week of November um, so unless I do a ready to ship which I don't think I will um, yeah th this will be it for a few weeks or a couple weeks at least because I've definitely been slowing down on my buying <clears throat> so um, if you made it this far thank you for watching bye